there's nothing quite like the Cirque du Soleil. Their spectacular visions and high-flying phantasms have awed millions across five continents of the globe. So, when the Circus of the Sun promised to rise in our humble town, we decided to head to a rehearsal to see how the Cirque du Soleil gets that way. Let's wrap up, guys. Let's go to the other side. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. First up, 12 acrobats spring into action, executing a perfectly coordinated effort between pushers, flyers, and catchers. It all begins with a good jump start. They have to be focused, they have to be uh, like in good shape to actually being able to push that, that board, and it requires a lot of strength also. So it's not even just the amount of push with the weight, it's the speed that that weight gets transferred into the thing. Wow. I got now, there. when you think gymnast, you think tiny balls of muscle. Well, Vladimir Kuznetsov is about six feet tall and weighs more than 200 pounds. He's preparing to do two backflips, 25 to 30 feet in the air. The energy propelling his launch will come from two pushers. as silk. But at warp speed, whoa! They could get hurt just bouncing back against they do, the stand. They do. Several times they get bitten, bitten by the board. Really? Yeah, they were popped right back into that frame. Yeah, yeah. And that thing could have ricocheted just It'll it does once in a while when, when they don't uh, pay attention or they sometimes they're being surprised by the speed or the direction of where the board is going. That's so crazy. they do get uh, hit by the board. The board is made of flexible carbon fiber. That allows it to bend and help launch the flyer. It's always storing enough energy to get the guy out there. The leftover energy is the thing that's throwing the board four feet in the air afterwards. Oh, oh just someone just what's up with like it? No, it's just it's all ideal perfection. No mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Remember those uh, tiny balls of muscle we mentioned before? Meet Irina Timofeeva. Irina will flip 360 degrees and land atop a four-man column in a split. There's oh. giants on top of giants. <laughs> right. <laughs> He even grabs our hand for, yeah, for exactly. centering. Yeah, a little bit of balance at the end. And at warp speed? The secret to Irina's command of gravity lies in her timing of the split. Mid-flip, she's already starting to open up her arms and legs. She slows down by increasing what's called rotational inertia allowing her to land safely onto the catchers. Okay, here we go. Perfectly timed deceleration is critical for the next feat. Dima Baraika will double the height of Arena's stunt to complete five somersaults in the air. There it is. It's just hard to process what's going on there and how hard that actually is. And that he's got plenty of time. I'm stunned by that. Pulling legs to chest, Dima accelerates his flip. Right now, they're actually flipping while they're going up. Right. And then the third and fourth one is actually just at the peak. Right at the top. And yep. then after that, the last one is on the way down. Like Irina, Dima must decelerate before landing to avoid catastrophic impact. By extending his arms and legs, he increases his rotational inertia and slows his body down enough to land. And here's the really scary part. Dima is just getting warmed up. 
if you're gonna jump from this and land on the mat on the single stitch. Say what? While Diva prepares, we're going to get a little more down to earth. Your cascade juggling with your feet. Exactly. When we come back, we learn more about the sweet science of juggling. And the ball is still bouncing. And Dima heads head over heels into the great unknown when Time Warp returns. Remember Dima, the amazing flying man? He's ready for his close-up and our show-stopping finale. Okay, let's focus, everyone. The gymnast straps himself onto a single stilt. Dima is going to do two somersaults with two twists, uh, and he's going to do it on this uh, single stilt. Of course he is. So he's going to jump from this and land on the mat on the single stilt. Nice. Good wow. one. That is unbelievable. So dangerous. Let's watch that again. There are many secrets to this soleil. Note the catchers that surround him. They continually reposition the mat while spotting Dima's every move. Notice how Dima pulls his arms towards his chest to gain momentum. throws them out again to decelerate. And at the moment of landing, the catchers release the mat directly under him to absorb his impact. You don't spot the landing for your feet here. You spot it for right. still. That's right. a totally different. Yeah, and he, so he's on like a little, like a five degree angle. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Move yeah. that back out. So class, think we're ready to run away and enjoy the Cirque du Soleil? Stretching the limits of human ability is not for everyone. Maybe our own human limitations have just got us, uh, trapped. Yeah. You want to, uh, walk across? I guess. If there's anything you'd like to see warped, check us out on the Discovery Channel website, discovery.com slash timewarp. And the warp you see just might be your own.